行きます Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Saka here, and we are in Las Vegas. If you remember, we now have $195,000, which means our next goal is to bring up the map. See exactly where our garage is. It's right over there, just down the street, and we will purchase our garage, take a rest. And we will be good to go. So let's start the truck. And let's get out of here. Don't need those headlights. Oh, we probably exited the wrong way. But there are no police. Well, there goes the police officer. But in either way, we were not seen. Out of sight, out of mind, and all that good stuff. We are good to go. Looks like we'll be making a left at this light up here, which is green, which is now red. And not a moment too soon. Oh, wow. Touchy brakes. Not a moment too soon. We are yawning, so as soon as we buy that garage, we're going to shack up for the night, and then we are going to see if we can get a job out of Vegas. Excuse me. Go ahead and put it in ninth gear and just cruise on down the road. Ah, the Luxor and the fabulous Las Vegas sign. I'm sure they had to pay a little bit of licensing fee to get that uh, Las Vegas sign up. Set our cruise for 30 and let's go on down the road. So I hope you have had a good Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm actually recording this 11 o'clock Tuesday night. So I'm going to get this uh, synced up with the audio uploaded to YouTube and scheduled before I uh, hit the hay tonight. I'm just getting used to night shift. I'm enjoying the, well, the swing shift. I'm enjoying the swing shift pretty well. I know I am tired. I'm tired in real life and I'm tired in the game. But the show must go on. Please go green, please go green, please go green. Please go green. No such luck. Yep. Right as we get to it. Let this ice cream truck go. See a sweet tooth. And we'll be hanging another left. And we will be at our new home. It's just over there. Excellent. No U-turns, no worries. All right, let's pull in here and grab this garage. Yes, please buy the garage. Oh, I'm passing out as I'm buying it. And there's our garage, very nice. Truck headquarters. Pretty cool stuff. Here are today's top headlines. Shut the up, Cortana! From ABC News is Super Tuesday, the latest Democratic results. Well, looks like uh, she will treat us to some awesome um, news about Super Tuesday. And a sleep. Excellent. Almost midnight. Let's turn on our headlights. Parking brake off. Take a look at the job market and take a look, see? At our jobs coming out of Vegas. Let's do something quick so I can get this, uh, so I can get this done and out of the way. Las Vegas to Prim. Ah, oh, that's not much. That's a little drive out of town and then back through town. I don't want to do that. 
Santa Cruz won't be bad with some machine parts. Why not? Let's go pick these bad boys up. Now in Euro Truck, when you bought the full garage, I think it turns like that part into a fuel depot. Not entirely sure. Oh, there is no way I'm going to leave this undiscovered. Excuse me for a second. Discover, discover, discover. There we go. Wow, they force you to go all the way to the wall. Why is that even there? Why is that even a thing? Good turning circle on the bobtail. And off we go. Come on. Well, it's right turn on red anyway. We'll give her a stop and a go. And then we'll be making a left up here. It's amazing how quick you get above the 30 mile an hour speed limit, just quick, fast, and in a hurry. But anyway, as I was saying, I hope your Tuesday and Wednesday are going well. Um, getting used to swing shift is, it's nice. I enjoy swing shift. I get to sleep in a little bit and then I get to come home and still have a little bit of time to record uh, before I have to go to bed. So it's the best of both worlds as I was saying earlier. We are good. But I'm really liking it. And one thing that, you know, I learn over having several jobs is your coworkers make the difference. If you have a good set of coworkers that, you know, you don't dread seeing, uh, that makes it all the better. Here we go. Pick up some machine parts at the car dealership. And where are they? They're in the back. So let us go around the back side and pick those bad boys up. They should be just here on the right. Right over here. Let's nose it to the fence. Back up to her. Like a so. Attach, four ways on, and let's hit it. Yeah, we clear. We clear all day, every day. In real life, this wouldn't happen. Pick up a load at 11 o'clock at night from a car dealership with no one there. It's like, yep, I'll pick up your stuff. I know you guys aren't open in anything, but I'll pick up your stuff. No worries. Excuse me, truck. I'm coming out of this piece. And we are good to go. Let us get out of Las Vegas as quickly as possible. Nope. And the lights are not going to play nice. Come on, please. King of Las Vegas. Daily at 11 p.m. That guy don't look like Elvis or, um, let's see, Wayne Newton, Mr. Vegas. I don't know who that guy is, but he certainly ain't king in the real world. While we're driving along, let us take a look at our stats here. It's due in Santa Cruz by Thursday, 8 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Okay, so we don't have a sleep factored in, so we're going to have to do this uh, in one shot which we can do that 
the Bushnell Farms. Come on, roll, please. Roll, please. Roll. Yeah, I assume that light was green. And we are going to lane hop like a mug. Setter for 30 will be exiting right up here and we will finally be down the road and ready to go. Las Vegas is an awesome place to pick up stuff at night for sure. Oh, here we go. And we are good. Let's go down the pit lane, pick up the speed, and away we go. So we're splitting lanes there. I don't know which lane uh, is going to end. Up, oh, truck! Uh. Okay, question. Did we damage the trailer? Oh, 1%. You got to be kidding me. Hopefully that doesn't kill us too much. I tell you, one thing about this game I absolutely hate is that short exit. You have no room to exit nothing. Come on, boys. Go ahead and pass. Let's set our crews here. Let's go 70, because by the time we get up to speed, we'll be past Prim, as we are, and then we will be in California quick, fast, and in a hurry. Then we'll have to slow down to that dreaded 55 miles an hour. Going straight through. We should have enough fuel. We're at a half tank, and it's not going to be a long journey. Oh, we just crossed 9,000 miles in this truck. Remember when uh, I did episode one and we only had like seven miles on the truck? We've done almost 9,000 miles together. That's great. And we'll do even more when Arizona comes out. What are you slowing up for? Oh, we are about to hit. Oh, speed limit sign. Hit my mouse too much. Well, yeah, let's go on over. Get in with the flow of traffic. Oh, there's 55. So we are in California and we are on I-15 heading to Carlsbad. When I think of Carlsbad, I always think about, you know, the Carlsbad Caverns. I think that's like the biggest, uh, the biggest attraction in Carlsbad. I doubt they're modeled in the game. <laughs> Drive your truck through the Carlsbad Cavern. Oh, we're going up this stupid hill, aren't we? But no worries. We'll get there and the retarder isn't on. So we'll be able to maintain our 55 pretty well. Not a star in the sky though, which makes this drive uh, a little bland as we pass this I guess it's like a repeater station or a radio station. Oh, shopping center over there. I'll tell you, one of the coolest things that this game could do it, that's not in the engine is to be able to park and get out and walk around your truck. And uh, from the interview that I heard, in the future, they're thinking about designated areas uh, like fuel stocks, uh, truck stops, things like that where you, once you park you can sort of get out of your truck and walk around it may be something similar to the photo mode uh, you're able to you know stop the you know stop the truck at any time and take a picture wherever you're at so that can sort of simulate uh, walking around your truck if if the camera is fixed to a certain height that could work as a as a walking camera certainly can't have anything like first-person animations of opening the door or you know looking down to your feet anything like that but just being able to, to stop and rest and take a look around if you happen to 
come across a rest stop and the sun's going down or coming up and you wanted to stop and smell the roses a bit, you could do that. That'd be really cool. But we will stick with what we have for now. Me personally, I would rather them work on things like the map than work on things like walking outside of the truck to, to keep the game going. Still looking forward to that um, Arizona DLC. That's going to be cool. I wish they would announce something, at least like a progress or, you know, I could understand them not wanting to get people's hopes up. Like, oh, we're 95% done with Arizona, you know, and then all of a sudden they hit like a bug or they, they, they put like a city in and it crashes the whole game and they're like, okay, in reality we're down to like 30% complete. Sorry we lied. The backlash would be terrible if they did that sort of thing. Looks like we already found this way station. I don't think we're going to be on any undiscovered roads for now. Chevron station! And a scales and a seedy looking motel. I'll tell you, as a trucker, I'd be sort of paranoid. Oh, we're slowing down. Gonna make the right turn, Clyde. Going down Bob's Road here. 55 mile an hour limit, but once this guy's out of the way, bright lights. So we'll be at least able to see the nearby landscape. Highway 58, it says. Just perusing the uh, forums, there's um, a bunch of truckers or people familiar with the area that got on there and said, you know, this highway looks, ooh, tumbleweed. This highway looks absolutely nothing like, you know, it does in real life. You know, did they even open Google Maps? It doesn't even go here. It, it's tough. I mean, if you're making a scale model, you want it to be accurate. But then again, you don't want to, you know, spend 10 years on just a, a mile stretch of road to get it absolutely picture perfect. That's one thing that I think the game tries to do is to give you the feel. They did, they are, they're not expecting you to play this game, go to California and drive and be like, oh, I know this from American Truck Simulator. I can drive with my eyes closed. But, you know, it's more of a feel, an environment thing. Like, you know, this feels like California or this feels like Nevada. Yeah. This feels like Arizona instead of, you know, I know this curve. I drive this curve every day and there shouldn't be a gas station here, you know, th those people nitpicking. Makes me wonder though if tumbleweeds are common on this particular highway. They don't pop up just anywhere. I'm sure it was a design decision. They, they, they look at roads and they're like, well, this road's actually kind of dull. What can we do to spice it up? Oh, let's, what? Roller coaster. They say, like, this road's kind of dull. What can we do to spice it up? Oh, let's put in a tumbleweed. Four hours and 15 minutes away. That'll put us there at 8.30 in the morning, so at least we'll have some sun when we drop off this thing. We're about to go by a recruitment agency, if memory serves. Oh, we're entering Bakersfield. We're going to have to slow way down. Let's go ahead and make it 30, because I know... Well, maybe we're not going through Bakersfield. Let's go up to 40. Yeah, don't let that sign fool you. We won't be at 55 for long. There's the Peterbilt dealer. I'm driving a Kenworth, so there'll be no need for me to go in there. There we go. 30 miles an hour through Bakersfield. I'll stay in the left lane. I think I have a good chance of driving through the town without much trouble in the left lane. 
and I think the right lane actually merges in on the left lane up here, so we are in the proper lane. Green health. Interesting that they have, uh, ah, oh, come on now. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Go ahead and take a gander around. There's 5-0. And we are ready to go. Yellow light on the other side. Oh, guess I don't need my brights in town. Yeah, that lane's gonna end up here. Go ahead, Mr. Red Man. I see you. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then I think the speed limit sign is just on the other side of this Bakersfield sign. Come on, turn, turn, turn. For everything, turn, turn, turn. All right, now let's put back on the brights. Although it is almost sunrise. So we'll be on the highway when the sun comes up. Yeah, you can see it there in the mirror. The sun is starting to rise. And we're heading west, so that makes sense. All right. Let's go ahead and turn the brights off. We don't need them. We'll go ahead and hit our exit. Speed down pit road. And get up to highway speed and hope for nice, nice. Yeah, nice, nice. Sweet action. Let's go ahead and kick it up to top gear and cruise. Yeah, speaking of pit road, a few days ago was the Atlanta race and Jimmy Johnson won number 76. And as an Earnhardt fan, I sort of shudder at the thought that another driver has hit 76. They showed a, a graphic that compared uh, Earnhardt to Johnson. Earnhardt had clearly more, uh, more top 10s, but it also took him more starts to get to 76 than Jimmy Johnson. Oh, we're slowing up. Let's slow it down. Use gravity to help us. Awesome. The RV was clear. Nothing on the left. Nothing on the right. And down the... Oh, I had the right turn signal on. Oopsie. My bad. I've done that a few times, like actually driving, have the wrong turn signal on and feel like a horse's patoot. Only one time out of like a thousand though. I don't make a habit of it. Top gear and let's go on down Bob's Road here. That RV is moving now. Generic B is on a mission. Reference. That'd be cool if, like, weather vanes or the uh, the wind vanes there actually like worked. You could tell which way the wind's blowing. I don't think there is any wind in American Truck Simulator. Nothing to to push your truck around. That would be intense. Like in a storm, you have to struggle to keep your truck on the road because the wind's blowing you from side to side and you're in a very tall vehicle with a high center of gravity and it just wants to rock. Oh, you idiot. I wasn't going to break for you, guy. Oh, wow, we're not getting on the highway? Why? This has me questioning your motives, GPS. Now is this an actual, okay, it's a fence. 
I was going to say, is that one of those just blocked off intersections that I can't go down? This almost looks like they're trying to cut off maybe a mile by taking this particular road. Oh, that road is chewed up right there. Blast through Huron. Let's go ahead and get her at 55. Down the hill, past the one stop of Huron. It's like, why even model that? I know it's one thing to say, like, we have 30 or, you know, 18 or 20 cities that you can visit, but when those cities is literally just one stop, one drop-off point on one road, I don't know if you could count that as a city. That's more of just like a stop. Like Vegas, that's a city. LA, that's a city. San Francisco, that's a city. But Huron, with its one-stop shop, nah, not too much. All right, 52 minutes out. We are closing in on our destination, which will put the end of the episode about 30 minutes as per usual. I tell you, with uh, working swing shift, I'm learning to sort of multitask and think what would be the best, uh, best approach. So when I got home, I was literally like, okay, I can record the episode first, and then I can put it together and save it. And then when I upload it to YouTube, I can take a shower because there is no way on this earth that that video will be done processing by the time I get out of the shower. And then I can just come back, wait for it to process, close it out, and hit the hay as my driver will do shortly. All right, 40, and it looks like it's gonna be on the right. So I'll stay in the right-hand lane. So, oh, Santa Cruz, Carlsbad. Where in the world did I get Carlsbad at? Now you know I'm tired. This is how you know I have no clue what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead, turn on in. And hope for a good drop off point. Looks like it's over here. There it is. Okay. We can do that. This, is, this isn't a big trailer by any means, so we can sort of finagle this bad boy around. What we are going to do is we are going to sort of... Um, oh, that's a pole. We're going to... Oh, dang. Okay. This is going to be an interesting one, but I'm going to try it like this. We're gonna pull in, then we're gonna back it in. Like it so. So we're gonna drive it this way. And I don't think we're gonna hit anything on that corner. And then we're gonna spin our head around and drive it that away. There you go, boy. Easy does it now. Not going to, okay, I'm not going to hit that trailer. All right, hard over. Hard over, hard over, hard over, hard over. Hard over. Eh, crap. Okay, missed it a little bit, but could be far worse. Let's drive around this boy. All right, now we'll back it in. Like a soul. All right. My shoulder, can't see a thing. This is where a ground guy would be. There we go. This is where a ground guy would kind of be helpful. But we're going to do it. We are going to do it indeed. This will be it. Go ahead and pop it in neutral. Let it roll back. Park and brake. Drop her off. And collect my 1% damage. Good work. 600 bucks worth of damage, but that long distance bonus covered that. And that will do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I will get this uh, video saved and processed as fast as I can and get this out to you regular time. So aside from any um, extenuating circumstances, I will rest up, fuel up, and then see, repair up, and see you on Friday. Take care.